the beauty behind it is it's also been empowering to tens of thousands of people's lives all across the world. So it's great because we're able to leave like a lasting impact on people. You're watching On The Come Up. What's going on guys? Eric Ellis Jr. here, currently here with a multiple six figure uh, online digital entrepreneur, John Guaman, uh, in the presence, uh, basically actually just arrived to um, Europe and hopping from country to country, um, about to actually uh, host uh, or be a guest speaker at an event. So we're limited on time, but I wanted to go ahead and um, basically introduce him to my audience because he's currently 22 years old and making anywhere from 25 to $30,000 per month. And I kind of just wanted to, um, him to tell his story and also kind of just introduce himself and show you guys what's actually possible once you guys take action and and commit to excellence so thank you for uh being here john but um yeah man just tell first and foremost like just a little bit about yourself and like yeah. where you came from and, and and all that jazz okay dope so yeah man i mean i grew up in danbury connecticut it wasn't necessarily um i never ever came from money you know i was growing up all i knew was just kind of working super super hard you know i had two parents that were both immigrants both uh, with an Ecuadorian background and all they taught me was just the value of hard work you know they were both working two jobs so growing up you know all we knew was that and and the problem with that is necessarily like understanding that hard work will only get you so far but working super smart and this is day and age especially the 21st century is like the key to being able to obtain massive amount of success so I got introduced to this concept where you could choose your worth and you could choose your value and that kind of spoke out to me so much just because before this I was working retail jobs part-time jobs at restaurants and I just found myself working super hard for super little and not just that I just felt like I wasn't getting paid what I was worth so at that point in time I decided to lock on board had the right type of mentorship, the right type of guidance, the commitment, consistency, and the coachability, which I like to call the three C's in life. And over the past two and a half years, it's obviously this type of, you know, field of entrepreneurship, trading, marketing has given me the ability, you know, to travel half the world and speak in front of tens of thousands of people. And I think that it's super empowering and it's been super empowering into my entire life. But the beauty behind it is it's also been empowering to tens of thousands of people's lives all across the world. So it's great because you're able to leave like a lasting impact on people. And I think when you lead with the right intention, it just always ends up in your favor in the end of the day. So um, amazing, man, and very inspiring because as I said before, you had, uh, you're, it sounds like you're the type of person that's not supposed to make it. You have immigrant parents, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So it's kind of like that, I guess you could say cliche success story, but it, it's true, right? <laughs> yeah. For some reason, they tend to be the most hungry. But um, one thing, first and foremost, um, a lot of people don't know you. Like I'm always around six figure and seven figure um, entrepreneurs who, who are online. And uh, there's certain things that set them apart from like the, the average and, and the norm. So like, what do you think um, is like the key factor that kind of helps, helps you elevate from basically maybe just scraping by? Cause I know a lot of people who do online, but they still live paycheck to paycheck online. Mm -hmm. Like what got you to that 10,000, 20,000, $30,000 plus online to where you can literally live a true life of abundance? 100%. So there's so many different variables when trying to answer that entire question and I can go on here and short, like short and sweet and to the an point. Hour. <laughs> I think number one, adaptability. Adaptability in 2018 is absolutely huge, right? You always talk about, you know, Darwin, you know, that concept that not the most successful person in the world with one skill set or the other would succeed, but it's the person that could adapt the most to the marketplace. Are you able to adapt and recognize what the consumers are asking for and what they want? Once you're able to identify that and be able to adapt the most in the marketplace with the right type of system and consistency, you'll be able to go out there and literally crush any type of business or any type of realm of entrepreneurship in any in any form. You know, think about it like this real quick. The reason, the reason Henry Ford was able to become one of the richest men in the entire world was because he was able to adapt the most to the marketplace before it became massively right recognized. Mm -hmm. So the reason any single person has been able to go out there and really create a massive amount of success that most people would recognize as being absolutely insane is because they recognize the timing, but that timing comes from being able to recognize the, adapt the uh, adaptability of it. Okay, so just being adaptable and kind of like 
shaving to the marketplace. 100%. So um, just to kind of introduce them uh, to your industry, because I'm always with e-commerce people, uh, affiliate marketers, forex traders, like everything online. Like, what exactly is it that you do? What brings in the most income? And um, why do you like? What made you choose that industry? Okay, cool. So you know, I've been involved in the network marketing industry now for about two and a half, almost coming up on three years. Um, and the reason I think I got involved in network marketing and why I fell in love with it was I fell in love with the concept of being able to go out there and create a passive stream of income by going out there and leveraging your time one time and having that time leveraged and being using it forever. I also like really loved people as well, which is crazy. Some people love people, some people don't. But I really liked the impact that I left on a person. And I think there's no better opportunity where you could go out there and truly make a substantial amount of income, but also leave a lasting impact on people. So that's kind of what drove me to kind of building this entire business. In the beginning, it was super difficult, right? First couple months, didn't necessarily know what I was doing. But after, like I said, time, effort, consistency, kind of the cliche stuff of what everybody talks about. But it's it true. just grows from there. <laughs> yeah, it just literally grows from there. So, um, you know, what we're doing, we're just basically social networkers. We network products, services all across the world through the most socially connected generation the world has ever seen. And in an economy that's like worse than the Great Depression, it just makes sense. And especially when you have a great service or product that helps you make money as a customer, rather than you going out there and just having to constant, constantly refer people, absolutely amazing, right, so. And one thing that I like is that um, John basically, like like you said, passive income. Like a lot of people work, they, they make a lot of money, but it's active. So a lot of the e-commerce people that I meet, um, they're literally making all this uh, money, but they're, they're actively working. So like, like you said, you just had a big ass deposit, but from past efforts. But um, any, any last thing that somebody who's struggling, who wants to like take that leap of faith, but their mom, their dad, or somebody's telling them not to do it, uh, entrepreneurship is just not worth it, et cetera, et cetera. Like what's one advice that at your weakest t term before you actually took that plunge, like if somebody would have told you this, it would have like propelled you, like what's that one thing? That one thing that would have propelled me when I was necessarily like, am I probably at my low would be, I mean, it sounds cliche, but it's like, dude, you got one life, man. And it's like, we don't, I was living so much for the lives of other people. I was living for the opinions of, let's say my friends, uh, let's say the ideas of what my family wanted me to be. But at the end of the day, you only have one life, dude. And at, I wanted to choose something that I believed would really truly make me happy at the end of the day and live that, uh, that lifestyle of freedom. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're gonna accept other people's opinions, you might as well just accept their lifestyle. And I wasn't willing to accept the lifestyle of 90% of the world. It just did not make sense. So we're living life, you know, right. we're having fun, traveling. <laughs> My boy Eric, over like 15 plus countries, probably 30 countries next year. You know, we've been able to close now, you know, six figures, multiple six figures. And that's just where we are now. I just imagine within the next two or three years. Seven, we're eight, at seven, eight seven figures. Multiple seven figures, so. We'll so, get that going. So guys, man, I, I appreciate you, man. Um, Got you, bro. I stated before, partner with us. Um, we'll literally go ahead and help you guys take take your, your lifestyle to the next level, be a part of the family, and basically just level up in life, live your life by design. Yeah. Gucci gang. Oh. Oh, yeah. big, big head on the beat. Gucci gang, 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 G